Hi, I'm Aymar. Welcome back to one of my videos in my home security and video surveillance systems. Uh, is that what it's called? Sorry, I have to rehearse that every single time I do an opening or closing. But in this video, I want to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi repeater or IPC router to extend the range of your wireless camera system. Right here, we have a dedicated Wi-Fi repeater for plug and play use with a with wireless cameras like this. But another use of this is that you can make wired NVRs become wireless. But that's an entirely different topic for another video. All right, so that being said, let's get back to the main topic, which is using it as a Wi-Fi repeater. Actually, setting up is pretty simple. All you have to do is plug it in for power supply. I have to mention, the power supply didn't come packaged with the repeater for some reason. We had to pay like $10 to get another one. By the way, this is $20, so together it was $30, which is like three-fourths the price of a camera, which is $40. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. First, you plug it in with the... All right, so first thing you do is plug it in. We're going to use the uh, camera's power supply for this. And then we're going to hook it up with the Ethernet cable. Now, just for precaution's sake, we're going to make sure that it's directly plugged into the NVR instead of using a splitter, because that might interfere with the signal. So this is the splitter, by the way. I'm just going to plug that out. All right, so now it's plugged in. Now I'm going to take the... Actually, we don't need to take this, but all I have to do is go to the video manage menu. And you can see that the router is already registered on the NVR. And for some reason, it even has a preview. But uh, to my knowledge, this is not a camera. So that's going to be useless. Next, what we want to do is we can go to the bottom of this and you can see that it says repeater. So let's click that. This is going to take a bit while. So after 10 seconds of waiting, it says the information of the repeater is incomplete. That, I, I don't think that's needed. Right now, we can see where all the connections of the Wi-Fi uh, cameras and the repeater, right here, the router, to the NVR look like. So what we can do here is if we click on it, you can see that it says right now, the wireless hasn't been matched. And what we have to do here is we have to plug and play. We have to match this repeater to the Wi-Fi that signal that this is outputting. In order to do that, we're going to click match. All right, so bombs away. Let's do it. Match. Uh, okay. Wait a second. Oh, that might have been a bit too fast for the other things that this NVR does. Oh, mm, okay. All right, next step is to unplug it to see if the wireless is actually matched. Now, I should mention that before we did this, the first time it actually didn't work. And that was because it wasn't actually matched. Now, what we need to make sure is that when we match it, that there's a countdown and that it actually fully counts down. And then you want to press OK. And after that, there should also be a countdown for that. And then after that, I guess you press apply. So we, we did that. We made sure we counted down and now it should be matched. So if we refresh this, you can see that, well, it's, you, you'll see that the router is still there, but when we disconnect it, Okay, so you can see that information of the repeater is incomplete. I don't think that matters. We're just going to let that count down, you know, just in case. But you can see that the router is set up. <laughs> and apparently two cameras disconnected. But now with that it's set up, we can actually add another IP camera onto it so that we can daisy chain it. So this one right here is set up in my room, which is down the hall. Oh, wait, which one is that? That's cam five. So channel 5. And then after that, you would press apply. All right, so now what we're going to try to do is we're going to add... Okay, it looks like channel 5 is already added. We're going to add another one onto channel 5. Let's add... And I should mention that you can only add cameras that are have a green dotted line. You can't add ones with red lines or red dotted lines because they have a bad connection and therefore can't connect. So let's try channel 4. Or channel channel 3 okay <laughs> and I should mention that the uh, Wi-Fi repeater right here can only support up to two cameras all right so if you're here now if you want to delete it if you notice that if you hover over it it says delete so just just click it and I'm also a bit curious about this one right here I'm thinking that never mind okay I guess not 
Uh, I'm just gonna delete this real quick. Okay, you can also add two of them that go to the same repeater instead of daisy chaining them. But anyway, let me delete that. Let's try with the camera in my room. So camera five is already applied. I mean, already added, so we're just going to apply it. Save it. Yes. Information is complete. Some IPC may be discontinued or... Okay, yes. I'm just going to make sure that this countdown goes. I didn't even I didn't I didn't even press yes. Okay, it'll do it for me, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if it gets stronger. So right now, looking at the Wi-Fi signal of the camera that's in my room, we can see that it's at four bars right now. Now we didn't show it to you earlier, but that bar was at that signal is about three bars, maybe even two, and right now it seems to be strong. Now it's exactly this diagram that we have here. We have the NVR in the dining room. Go, the, the repeater in the hall and finally the camera in my room and that makes the signal uh, extended or I guess you could say stronger. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the repeater menu and theoretically what we want to happen is what, what, what we should see is that the, the camera 5 will not be on the list it will actually be connected to the router however when to, to the repeater however when we uh, when we unplug the repeater, since channel 5 is connected to that repeater, or camera 5, then it shouldn't show up anymore. So right now you can see that channel 5 is not on this list, it's actually connected to the router, or repeater. So let's see what happens when you unplug it. Alright, so another thing to mention is that we have the connect information, and part of that has the signal. Channel 5, which is the camera in my room, actually has the highest signal of 66 uh, out of all the cameras. And I'm not sure what 66 means. Maybe decibels? Unlikely. Uh, maybe hertz? I mean, I play games and this would be like the ping in the game, for example. But we don't know what this signal number means. It may be arbitrary, but technically this is the strongest camera there because it's so close to the NVR. Anyway, going back to my previous explanation, basically since camera 5 is connected to the repeater, if we unplug the repeater, channel 5 will not connect to the NVR because you're basically cutting the bridge in half. Let's see what happens. It's gonna take a while. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about this. So as you can see, because we have disconnected the router, Channel 5 cannot communicate with the NVR anymore. I mean, it's still accepting the picture, but later we'll see that the picture actually cuts out. So, our hypothesis or theory was correct. Oh, there we go. As you can see, that's conclusive proof that the camera that's connected to the repeater needs the repeater to be active in order to communicate with the NVR. So, I guess a drawback of that is that instead of having I mean, preferably you'd have the camera connect to the NVR automatically if the repeater disconnects, but I guess that you need the repeater anyways. We have the re repeater right here, so we're going to plug it back in and we're going to try to refresh it to see how strong the signal is. While we do that, I'm going to talk about what's on the repeater. You can see that it tells you what it's actually connected to. It tells you how many cameras it's connected to, one, two, three, four, and if it's connected to an NVR. Now, I don't know why it says... Um, has four lights turning on. Maybe as a standalone repeater, it can connect to four. But with the limitations of this system, if we try to add another camera, you can see that we, we have no option to add another camera to this repeater. So maybe this is able to support up to four, as it says on the box, but this high CU router has only allowed us to use two. This repeater itself, you can find it anywhere, especially on Amazon. Uh, many different companies use it. Like You can find it branded like Hikvision or a HiCU, but you, you most definitely can find it generic. So your best bet is to find something cheaper, and if it breaks, then since it's Amazon, you can always return it. So my dad's telling me that this repeater right here, it, if you see a brand on it, uh, don't believe it because they're all the same. They just take, the, the company just takes it and they put their brand on it. If you look on the camera, it's on the repeater itself. It actually doesn't even have a brand on it. So, like, 
this box itself, I don't think it has a company that goes along with it. Um, too little time to check it out. But if you look on this Wi-Fi smart camera for high CU, you have the box. There's no branding on it. The only branding is on the sticker. So, you know, that just adds fuel to the saying that it's a generic model that people just put their brands on or companies put their brands on. All right, so uh, I just want to point out that now that we have the repeater here instead of in the hall, the signal strength is actually lower at 40 rather than 66. So let's reflect on the repeater itself. Uh, I'm not sure if you would actually want to buy this in order to use it for only like two cameras. Uh, maybe if you've exhausted all the other options and you're in dire need of using a repeater, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it because this is around $20 by itself. The power supply is another $10, so together it's $30. Now, if you've exhausted all the other options, I talked in a separate video about these other options like an antenna or a range extender, and you're in dire need of a repeater like this, then by all means, go buy it. However, there is a, another alternative. You can actually, if you already have a system of cameras set up, you can use those cameras as repeaters because they have built-in repeater functions. Now, I think that most, if not all, Wi-Fi cameras have built-in repeater functions. So basically, you just use one camera as a repeater for another camera so that it can connect to the NVR. I mean, of course, it might have to connect to, it might have to be on VIF compliant and all some other precautions, but you could use it like that. So that's an alternative and another useful function of a repeater is that you can make a wired NVR wireless. So I guess that's another reason you might want to buy it. But I think that's it. So I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Please like or comment and subscribe and look at other videos on I and Ayman. We're actually going to do a video on how to use each individual camera as a repeater for other cameras. So go check out that video and uh, go also also check out my videos on home security and video surveillance videos on video surveillance systems. I think I did a video on uh, pan tilt zoom uh, pan tilt zoom camera and uh go check that out so thanks for watching signing out peace <laughs>